So we're going to continue our discussion of colligative properties by looking at our next one, osmotic pressure. So just as a refresher, we've probably seen this in other classes, osmosis is the movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane. Uh, not to be uh, mistaken with dialysis, dialysis is movement of water and also small solute particles. Well, we're thinking of just the movement of water through a semi-permeable membrane. So it's permeable to water, but not anything else. And we look at, well, how is this going to affect the solutions on each side? And what is that, how does that lead to this idea of osmotic pressure? So let's say I have kind of this U-tube here. I have a semi-permeable membrane between them. And the semi-permeable membrane is only permeable to water. Well, right now I just have water on both sides. Now let's say on this side over here, I'm going to add some glucose. So I'm going to dissolve some sugar into uh, the solution. So I dissolve some sugar particles over here. And what that does is that creates a concentration difference between one side and the other. Well, what water is going to want to do, it's going to want to move to dilute the side that is more concentrated, which is going to be this side because there's nothing over here in this case. Uh, it's going to want to dilute it down as, as low as it possibly can. Okay, well, as it does, we're going to see that through this semi-permeable membrane, we're going to have some of these water particles move from the left side to the right side. Okay, and now as it does that, as it moves from this side to this side, it's going to cause the concentration to go down. Well, as it's moving water, as water is moving through this, it's going to move the water level up. It's also going to cause this water level to go down a little bit. And depending on the concentration difference between this side and this side, it's going to affect how much it's going to move. Okay, so let's say we let it equalize out, and we're going to see that our line moves up. And now we have our old line here. And now we're going to, we can see we move down here as well. Okay, so now we have our new levels that we would have between our water levels. And now, so we have some water particles up here, and our level has moved down. So we've moved down, and we've moved up. Well, it's not going to continue to go on forever because pushing down on our water here is gravity, right? And so it's pushing up against this. It's able to push up to a certain extent. And so if we're going to look at the height difference here between these two, that height difference uh, is going to be equal to, or is caused by, the osmotic pressure of uh, this solution, right? The ability for the solution to push up as water is flowing into it. And this is what osmotic pressure is. It's the pressure caused by the movement of water or wanting of water to move from a low concentration to a high concentration. As it does that, it's going to, if it's pushing up against gravity, cause this height difference. The height difference is equal to, uh, related to gravity as well, the pressure that this water is pushing up on, okay? And so it reaches some maximum level. It's not going to keep going forever because as it get, this difference gets greater, the pressure that's pushing down or the force is pushing down is increasing. And so we get to this kind of stable level. This is the osmotic pressure, the, the amount of water that is pushed through and able to push through our permeable membrane to allow this height difference to occur. <clears throat> we can quantify this uh, osmotic pressure, and we use uppercase pi, and it's equal to the molarity of the solution times our gas constant times our temperature in units of Kelvin. Okay, so this is going to be the molarity of our solution, so moles of our solute per liters of solution. R is going to be the ideal gas law, 0 .02, 0 0.0821 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and then our temperature is simply whatever our temperature that we are, our solution is in units of Kelvin, okay? And so now we can see that this difference in concentrations causes pressure uh, to uh, be exerted as the water wants to flow from a low concentration to a high concentration, right? And this happens in cells, uh, this happens in biological systems, because of differences in concentrations. One, and maybe the inside of the cell or the outside of a cell is higher or lower in concentration. Water is going to want to move inside or outside of that cell 
uh, and so therefore the cell must have the ability to withstand that pressure. Right? And so it's this pressure being pushed because the water wants to move from a low concentration to a high concentration to dilute that high concentration. So we're going to follow this video up by looking at an example and calculating osmotic pressure for a solution, calculating boiling point change, freezing point change, and vapor pressure change for a solution uh, where we actually are going to dissolve some uh, glucose into that solution and see how it affects those different colligative properties.